Thanks for staying with us. Now, the immediate past Commissioner of Police in Lagos State, Assistant Inspector General AIG Hakemos Dumoso, has taken a bow out of the force after inspecting the final parade. At the pullout parade, AIG Odomoso urged the police management team to put solid plans in place by establishing and funding a pre-retirement training institute for officers retiring from service. Lovi Kukoyadokon was there. There was one time commander of RRS in Lagos State and chairman task force of this Lagos State. It is a pull-out parade ceremony in honor of the former Commissioner of Police, Lagos Command, Hakim Odumosu, as he retires from the force. After 30 years of meritorious service, it is time to say goodbye to the job he loves most. AIG Odumosu, who was in good spirit, was however sad about the image of the Nigerian Police Force and the loss of trust by members of the public. The former Lagos CP wants the narrative changed. The image of the Nigerian police force is building by the day due to so many reasons that we all know, especially with the recent nationwide NSAS crisis. There is currently a strained relationship between the public and their police. This trend portends great danger for the country and our citizens. This gap must be bridged. Police must ensure that public trust is earned. He had a word of advice for the young and promising officers who have chosen policing as their career. I put my best in the service of the country. It is my prayer that the tradition will continue so that young promising officers will attain a lofty height in the police force just as God gave me the privilege to attain. As one has served in various capacities and have garnered on the job experience, let me at this juncture advise young promising officers who have chosen the police as their career. Discipline is the bedrock of the force. Close associates of the former Lagos CP paid glowing tributes to him, congratulating him for a deserved retirement. I am indeed happy to stand here as your governor that indeed you have served your state, you have served the citizens of Lagos State, you have served the Lagos State Command, you have served the Nigerian Police Force, you have served them with everything you have. Tango One, thank you very, very much. For the meritorious service to the Nigerian police and of course to Nigeria, he has been able to do this without blemish. That is retiring today it is the joy of the Inspector General and, of course, the joy of the members of the Inspector General's management team. Odumosu urged the serving officers to exhibit discipline and be professional at all times so as to win the trust of the people. Class 16, 1990, your classmates are saying bye bye to you, Akim Odumosu. From Lagos, Lab Ikuku Oyedoku, reporting for Plus TV, Africa. Moving on, reactions have continued to trail with a ban on the production of alcohol in sachets and small volume bottles by the National Agency for Food Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC. Plus TV, Africa's correspondent at Debanke Odunoye, who went to the streets of Lagos to sample opinions, reported that this development has caused a stir among residents. On Monday, the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAC, announced that it will stop the production of alcohol in sachet and glass bottles below 200 milliliters. While some Nigerians note that this is a bad move, others support the decision. I don't find any sense out of it because all those are good people say they are making their own money in another way. And you government are making uh, your own money in another way. Why do you want to ban them? For what? Because I ban them for two years. Because I don't know what to do. 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 That is not the problem of this country. The youth, they are there without jobs. Problems here and there. They are talking of banning. Instead of opening of border, 
May people are now, so many people are going, I mean, that is not the problem of the country. No money. And you want to tell the common man, poor masses, that can get 15 out of 10 there and get such of alcohol. You want to, you want to encourage uh, alcoholism in the country or what? By telling them to go to, for bigger ones. I want to go to the bar. I want to go to the bar. I want to go Traders of these commodities are also lamenting as they said the business is lucrative for them and affordable to consumers. Now Navdak stated that this move was taken to reduce the consumption of alcoholic beverages in the country. In a sweet reaction, some Nigerians also said moderation is key. The decision by the Food and Drug Regulatory Body seems to have diverse effects on the alcohol consumption population. However, some residents are calling for a review. For Plus TV Africa, Adibanke Udunuri. Now on tackling smuggling, the Nigerian Customs Service has unveiled 18 patrol boats to tackle activities of smugglers using the creeks and waterways as safe haven. This is in a bid to rid the country of illegal importation. According to the customs, procurement of the boats is part of efforts to intensify against smuggling of illicit goods through the waterways. The Comptroller General of the Nigerian Customs Service, retired Kone Hamid Ali, spoke at the commissioning of boats built by Siwa West Africa in Port Harcourt River State. He said the boats comprise nine gunboats and nine logistic boats. There are serious signals to criminals that the game is up. Ali stated that the boats which have high functionalities are additions to the customs marine arsenal at the time smugglers are running away from the heat on the land. The addition of these boats to the service marine arsenal at a time when most smugglers are running away from the heat on land to water is simply the right thing to do. This event no doubt marks the beginning of a renewed offensive against those who chose creeks and waterways as safe haven for their illegal trade. The Comptroller General stated that a custom tapped into the ingenuity of the Nigerian company to design, construct and build the boats. It is in line with the President's Executive Order on Local Contents of 2017. In his speech, the managing director of Siwa West Africa and Apobai said all the boats are fitted with twin OBMS using environmentally friendly technology of four-stroke engines. The relationship between Siwa and Nigerian Customs Service represents excellent examples of what Nigeria can achieve when we come together to forge our national interests. The 27-foot boat commissioned is a Series 5 gunboat. It is the fastest boat built in its class and is capable of reaching high speeds for intercepting smugglers and it also has other key features. It has ballistic protection. That ballistic protection is inbuilt into the boat. The custom boss also visited the Ones seaport where he inspected the newly acquired scanning machine. He described the automobile scanner as a positive milestone in their efforts to modernize customs operations and enhance security with easier detection of prohibited imports. 
I think scanners, we have been launching for it, and we are lucky to have got to, to now have now received these three, and uh, will eventually bring into four 135 scanners nationwide. The Comptroller General called on well-meaning individuals and organizations to always give the Nigeria Customs Service credible information. This, he said, will enable interception and seizures of smuggled items in the country. Now, the Controller General of Customs also said the 18 Greeks petrol boats made up of nine logistics support boats and nine gun boats whose parts were armored should send clear signals to criminals that the game is up. We are now ending this week's edition on this sad report where a traditional ruler in Ogun State, the Alagodo of Ogodo in Iwekuru, local government area, has been assassinated by suspected hoodlums in the community. Three persons said to be the deceased uh, monarch's friends were also burnt to ashes. The killing was said to be the second attack on the uh, Odetola family in less than three months. Our correspondent in Ogun State, Abibad Ajayi, filed this report. Palatable tension grips a good community. The town is deserted as many are fled to safety. Schools are also deserted, but a barricade of bone tires is indicative of a crisis. We gather that there had been crisis over the leadership of the community between two sections of Egbaland. The police public relations officer in Ogun State confirms the killing of a monarch and others by hoodlums. He says no suspect has been arrested so far. We had an information that um, the rainy Obadier came, to the, he was in the village, when some uh, people who are yet to be known, they attacked the Oba, and uh, the Oba was killed. They did not stop at that. They set, him, they set his corpse ablaze right in his vehicle. We are here to make arrests. Uh, since the, the place is deserted, like, like I've told you earlier on, but uh, we are on the trail of those who carried out that dastardly act. They cannot go upon it. Let me tell you one thing. Such heinous crime cannot be perpetrated here in Ogun State without the perpetrator being arrested. He also wants citizens to desist from taking laws into their hands. The best interest of anybody for you to resort to safe aid, it doesn't be, is barbaric and it is primitive. Whatever might be your grievances, there is laid down procedure. You can approach the court of law. Let the court adjudicate on any matter that you feel aggrieved about. The State Traditional Council is yet to make an official statement on the incident, but the police assures that perpetrators will not go unpunished. And that's all on this edition of PLUS Report. But before we go, let's to remind you to please follow us at PLUS TV Africa on Facebook, Instagram, and now, of course, on Twitter. And do subscribe to our YouTube channel at PLUS TV Africa. I'm Jacinta Obuko. Thanks for watching.